Jeez, I hope Megs doesn't lose his head over this one. <laughs> Get it, cause, cause he's a he's a headmaster. I'll go now. Hey, what's up, my peoples? And go here, the freaking geek himself. And today we will be reviewing the Transformers Titans Return Voyager Class Megatron. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right out front here, we have Megatron in mid decapitation, Doomshot, and Megatron Transformers. In case you didn't know, Decepticon symbol on that slide, Decepticon symbol on the top, copyright stuff on the bottom. On this side of the box you have that same image there of Megatron in mid-decapitation. On the back of the box you have your obligatory product shots and you have your brief bio if you want to read it in multiple languages. Hooray for languages and that's basically it for the packaging. Also included is the collector's card with that same piece of artwork. Right there, and the tech specs for both Megatron and Doomshot. Hooray for cards. So moving right along, here we have Voyager Megatron. So he's a triple changer now. And he is, uh, he's, he's Blitzwing, basically. He's Blitzwing. <laughs> this mold was clearly meant for Blitzwing, but they, uh, they Sentinel primed us again. Yeah, they're, they're, they're making a habit of doing this. It's smart, though. It's smart. They, they release the... The recolor remold first, and then you buy it because, oh, new mold, must play with the new mold, and then you still want to buy it as the character is supposed to be, so, <laughs> I see you, Hasbro, I see what you're doing, I see you, I see you, and it's, I mean, it, it's smart, you can't deny that it's smart, <laughs> but, <laughs> so here is Megatron in his tank mode, and it's, 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 it's just, it's. <laughs> the tank mode's okay. It's not great. It's got jet thrusters on the front there. <laughs> and you can see the wings back there. You can see the, the, the cockpit there for the jet mode right there. Um, the tank mode is just, it's all right. It's all right at best. Um, you do have Decepticon stickers right here, which on mine are actually starting to peel a little bit. And uh, that red stripe is paint, but the Decepticon symbol is a sticker. And you just get a lot of gray here. Um, these details right here on what will be the jet mode wings are stickers as well. And on mine, some of them are starting to peel up a little bit again. Uh, but I'm sure Reaper labels will put out a set for this guy. You can see right there, that's starting to peel up. Not great stickers on these toys. Not great stickers. See the treads there? Actually, do have some nice detailing. Right there. And you got the uh, tank turret. You got a little transclearance orange section there. Which is very nice. And lots of molded detail. I mean, it looks good. You got some gray paint right there. Going down the other side. The back. The bottom. You kind of sort of see how things work there. There you go. As you can see, you have four rolling wheels. For some reason, these these three wheels roll just fine, but this one, this one gets stuck. This one doesn't really roll as freely. But you can you can roll okay, okay. He's just, he's just okay. So <laughs> there you go. Now for comparison, here he is with Deluxe. Her head. So you can see how he scales there. With a deluxe. There you go. And here he is with Leader Megatron. So you can see how he scales there. Now this is a tank right here. That's a tank. Now granted, you know, the only thing this has to turn into is a tank, which is why this works a lot more successfully than that. So, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that. So let's run through the accessories. Um, of course he does include... His headmaster is Titan Master, whatever you want to call him. Here we have Doom Shots. We'll get it close here so we can get a look at him. Nice Megatron-y bucket head going on there. You do have some molded details in there. He's done in red and gray, so at least he does have some color to him. He's got the belly button screw. And, of course, he has the upside-down face on his back. Hi! How you doing? I'm upside-down. I'm getting dizzy. Anyway. 
And of course, as usual, the head is on a ball joint. The shoulders are on a ball joint. They can go out that far. Uh, actually can get up all the way. Yay! And the legs can move forward and back that far. And the knees can swing both ways. And there you go. And for comparison, here he is with a fans project headmaster. And here he is with a G1 headmaster. So there you go. He does also include some weaponry. Here we have his cannon, which is done in a glossy black. You can see it has some nice, some nice molding to it. There you have the underside. So you have that right there. And you also get this gun right here, which is just cast in gray. That's a lot of molded detail in there, which is nice. But as usual, due to facilitating the gimmick, there's just a the big gap in there. So. You have that as well. Now storage for the weapons, you can take the cannon right here and it will tab right over this little baby turret. If you notice, he has, he has a little baby turret going on here. Uh, the turret itself can do a full 360, by the way. Um, I thought this could move because this is a separate piece, but it doesn't, it, it doesn't move. But uh, yeah, the turret can do a full 360. And you can take the cannon here and tab it onto the turret to give him a super turret. Actually, that's really more of a proper tank turret, but there you go. Now he has a super cannon turret, which does look really cool. Um, you can take this gun if you want, and this will plug in right here, and you have these two tabs that will go into these slots right in here, so you can take that and plug that in like that if you want, and have that going on, and you can take Doom Shots, and you can just sit him down there, and have him manning things like that if you want. Or another thing you can do is you can remove this whole assembly here, detach this, and you can actually tab this over this gun like that. And you can have Doom Shot manning that big super cannon right there. And you can plug that onto any of the bases if you want. Or if you want, you can oops, just plug this back on and you can open up. This little section right here, and just get Doom Shot into a proper sitting position. You kind of have to bring his arms in like that, and then you can just sit him in there. You can see a lot of molded detail in there, which is nice. And you can just take him, plug him in there, just close that up, have him manning the tank that way, and you can have this sitting up here if you want. But I personally don't like the way that looks, so you know, you can plug it onto the sides if you want. There are ports there too. If you like, that's a thing you can do. Me, personally, I just take it and there are ports back here and I just take it and I plug it back here because I just don't like that gun. So, <laughs> that's personally what I do with the tank mode. But of course, as always, your toy, display it however you wish. That's just what I do with it. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's let us remove the cannon here. Let's get Doom Shot out, put him off to the side. And let's get going. Oh, let's remove this as well. There you go. So now we'll get going. So the first thing you want to do is you just want to take the wings here and just bring them out. And you just want to turn them around and you want to unpeg these side sections here with all the treads. You can see right here this peg just goes into the robot mode fist. And there's also a tab that goes right in there. Just undo that. And then you're going to take these tail fins here and you're going to bring them up like that. And then you're going to take this whole assembly here, this will untab, and then you just swing it around like that, and it will now tab in right there. Just take that, tab that in, and you can see that little section right there is a little notch for it right there. So once you do that, just kind of bring the wing up just to get things out of the way, and then you just take this side section here, and you tab that back in where it was. Just tab that in, and you take this whole section here, and you bring it back. Oops. Bring it. Things got, things got a little caught up on me here. Hey, 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 there you go. <laughs> so just take all this, bring it back, and this peg will go into that port right there. Just tab that in, right there. Then you can just fold out the wingtip, bring that down, bring that fin down. And there you have one side all done. Second verse, much like the first. So you're just going to untab all of this. Untab this section here. 
swinging around. Oh, bring up that tail fin first. There you go. Tab that in. And then just get all this tabbed in. And bring this back. Peg that in. For some reason on mine, this side does not like to stay pegged. As you can see, this side pegs in very securely. Pegs in fine. For some reason, this side just doesn't doesn't want to work for me. Don't know why, but it just it just doesn't. But not long. It is what it is. Uh, fold out the wing tip. Bring the wing down. Fold that down. And there we go. Now we're going to take the turret and raise it up on this double hinge, and that will give us clearance to flip out the nose cone section there. Rotate the turret 180. Bring it back down. Tab that in. And then you're going to open up this section here. Flip out the tip of the nose. Close that back up. And there you have Megatron in his jet mode. And the jet mode works way, way better than the tank mode. This looks pretty good, in my opinion. You have a, uh, a Decepticon sticker right there on the nose cone. And some nice multi detail. You got the transclearance orange cockpit there. You do have some Titan Master pegs right there if you want to use them. And you got some more stickers right there, which look totally out of place, but hey, they're there. You got some red, you got some more of that glossy black. And again, you have that sticker detail on the wings. Got the fins, got the thrusters in the back. You got a <laughs> tank turret on the bottom, but hey. <laughs> It is what it is. But yeah, this mode definitely works a lot better than uh, than the tank mode. So, there you go. So now, for comparison, here he is with Astro Train in his shuttle mode. So you can see how these two look together. How they scale with each other. So there you go. Right there. So you have that. And again, with Leader Megatron, just because. There you go. So, yeah, that's... So, yeah, um, again, you do have options for what you want to do with the weaponry. Uh, you can take this gun right here. There is a port under the nose cone. You can take this and plug that in right under there if you want. You can also take the cannon and just plug this back on to the turret if you wish. And have that going on. It's a thing. It's a thing you can do. You can also take this gun, and there is a slot right there and two notches right there. So you can take this and just tab that in right there. Clip that on right there. And you can have that going on if you want. And, of course, you can set Doom Shots in there if you wish. Totally up to you. Or you can take this cannon and you can, you know, plug this on under here. Again, totally up to you, whatever you want to do. Me personally, I just leave that hanging out down there. Or if you want to, you can take this and attach this up here like that. And have that going on. Again, you have options. Lots of options. Options are good. Do you like options? I like options. Everyone should like options. Options are a good thing. Options are a wonderful thing. But I'm just going to leave this down here for now. But you can also take Mr. Doom Shot here and you can open up this cockpit section right here and take Doom Shots. And just sit them in there and close that up, which is a little tight for him. It's not, it, it, it's a very snug fit for him in here. But come on, I feel like I'm gonna hurt him. I really do. There we go. You yeah, close that up, and you can have Doom Shot in there flying the jets. Although now, for some reason, it doesn't want to close all the way. There we go. Not the best fits in the world, but there you go. So, there you have the Jets mode. Which, like I said, definitely works better than the tank mode. So, there you go. So, moving on to robot mode. Let us remove the weapons. Remove the weapons. Get Doom shot out of there. Get out of me. Get out of me. And then we just take this, fold this back in. Close that back up. And now we're going to raise the turrets, flip this whole section back in. Oh, we're not ready for you yet. Stay, stay. 
You didn't see that. You didn't see that. <laughs> I just flip this back around and now you can take the turret and bring this up. And this tab right there, we'll just go into this slot right there. Just tab that in. And there you go. So now you can just freeze up these tail fins. You can kind of bring the wings up. You can fold the tips in. And we're going to untab this section here and swing it around. Swing it around. Um, again, that will tab in right there. Hey, hey. Okay, that time you saw it. <laughs> you weren't supposed to see that yet, but I keep hitting the switch by accident. So there you have that. And then you can just take this, extend it down. You want to bring this whole assembly up on this double hinge right here. Make sure that stays tabbed in. And then this section, you're just going to fold back. This section here, you will fold up, rotate, and there you have an arm. Second verse, much like the first. Let's bring that up. Fold that in. Untab. Swing it around. Tab that in. Bring that down. Bring this whole thing up on that double hinge. Bring that back. Bring that up. Rotate. And there you have the arms all done. The wings, you can do whatever you want with them. You have a lot of joints here. You can leave them out. You can fold them up. Totally up to you. Me, I just take them and I just bring them back like that. So there you go. At this point, you can take the chest here and just bring it up. Like that. And there you go. So these tail fins here, you just rotate them up. Like that. Split the legs. And then you open up this panel right here. And you want to untab this section. There is a tab. I don't know how well you can see it. There you go. There's a tab that tabs in to the hip right there. So you just untab that. You can see that goes right in there. So untab that, and then you just extend the leg, and then this will just tab in right into that black piece right there. So that will tab in, and then you just flip the foot out. You close the panel up. Then you have leg all done. Second verse, same as the first. Just open that up. Untab, bring that down, tab that back in, flip out foot, close up panel, and there you have the body. Right there. Let me raise up a smidge. There we go. And of course, he is missing his head, so we'll just bring in Doom Shot here, bring his arms down, fold them in half, plug him in. And there we have Megatron in his robot mode. Now, of course, what is Megatron without his cannon? And you just take two hats here. Of course, you can hold the weapons individually as handheld weapons if you want to. Or you can take them and just plug them together. And you can just plug it into the port on the side of his arm. There's one on either side. And you can give him his cannon, which I'm not crazy about because I wish this was black as well. And that doesn't really work, and it has that giant gap in it, so I don't really like that. Um, you can plug it in that way, too, if you want, if that looks better to you. Um, you can plug it in that way, so you don't see the big gap, but then you have the gaps here, and now you have even more gray exposed, which I don't like. Um, you can actually, it does work this way, you can actually plug this in the other way, and it will stay. You know, it, it holds, so you can do that. That looks maybe a little bit better. I don't know. I'm not crazy about this cannon. I'm not crazy about it. I, I really want a third-party company or Shapeways or somebody to make a cannon for this figure. I ain't crazy about it. I, I ain't crazy about it. But anyway. They have Megatron in all of his glory. So let's get in close here so we can take a look at that noggin. There's that noggin. It's, it's a nice head sculpt. Very Megatron-y bucket-headed noggin. Very nice, got the red eyes going on there. And the chest here, and you can see these stickers um, totally do not fit. <laughs> As in, they just they just stick out like a sore thumb because they're these bright, shiny silver stickers on unpainted gray plastic, and it just doesn't look good at all. If they had actually painted this silver, then it would have matched a bit better, but unpainted gray with these really shiny silver stickers on it just doesn't really work, so I will probably end up just peeling all of these stickers out, peeling all of them out, peeling all of them off, rather, 
and uh, putting a uh, clear-backed Decepticon symbol on his chest there, because that will look a lot better than this. But anyway, got some nice small detail there, and some nice paintwork on his abs, and his stomach region. I'm going down the body here. Got some nice molded details right there. Going down the legs. Again, got some red. You got that gloss black. Got his little feeties. And going up the back here. Again, a lot of molded detail. There's definitely not a lack of detail on this figure. On the back. You know, he has a backpack. He has a turret there and the wings. But, you know, since it's supposed to be Blitzwing, that is the Blitzwing backpack. So, it is accurate for Blitzwing at least. Not for Megatron, but for Blitzwing. So, there you go. Now, articulation wise, the head is on a ball joint. You can get a little bit of wiggly, waggly, wiggly, waggly. The arms can do not a full 360. They can only go up this far because there is an actual stopping point here. I don't know if you can see it, but you can see this section, how this section moves right here. And there is a stopping point, which is right there. And once it hits that, you're not moving anymore. So, you can raise his arm up that far, and you can bring it back that far. But you can't actually do a full 360 with him. Um, you can go in and out, pretty much all the way up. Yay! <laughs> if you want to. Um, you can also use these joints, if they serve any purpose to you. You do have a bicep swivel. Of course, things do kind of bump into each other. Uh, 90 degrees of a bend at the elbow, nothing at the wrist, uh, nothing at the waist. Legs can go forward, that far, can go back, that far, nice range. Outward, you can do the full splits, thigh swivel, 90 degrees of bend at the knee, and he can move his toes down, do the transformation, he can't move them up, but he can move them down. And there you go. Now one extra little gimmick here, which I did activate by accident is if you bring his chest plate down and you pull this switch down boop, you get these little side pieces that come up <laughs> which again are meant for blitzwing and i don't really care for them for megatron so me personally i'm just gonna leave these down but it's a thing it's a thing you can do as always your toy despite however you wish so there you go now for comparison here he is with Deluxe Hot Rod. So you can see how he scales there. Uh, here he is with Voyager Astro Train. And we'll bring in Voyager Galvatron. So we can see how they all look together. So there you go, right there. Um, just because, here he is with Six Shot. Leader Six Shots. See how he scales there. Obviously, Voyager Leader. Obviously, he's going to be shorter than a Leader Class. Uh, here he is with Leader Class Megatron. See how they look together. And here he is with Combiner Wars Voyager Prime. So you can see how they look together. And here's a little bit shorter. A little bit shorter than Prime. There you go. So yeah, there you have Voyager Class Megatron from Titans Return. Um, he's okay. He's okay. Um, the tank mode does not work for me. The tank mode, just just no. The jet mode definitely works for me anyway. I, I, I think the jet mode is way more successful than the uh, tank mode. The robot mode... It's okay. Um, I think this will definitely be a case of I'll like this mold better when it's Blitzwing. I, I think it'll work better for Blitzwing. I don't think it works that well for Megatron. But, you know, it, it is what it is. I'm not crazy about this, this cannon setup here because that just I, I just don't like that, you know. I think this will work a lot better for Blitzwing as Megatron. I'm just eh, about it. I'm not crazy about it, but there you go. So if you would like a Megatron or any Titans Return figures, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so check it out. You can also check out my Titans Return playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below, so check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M-Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Transformers Titans Return Voyager Class Megatron, and this is M-Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Big Geek, be proud.
BOOM IN YOUR FACE! Hmm, there's gotta be something, something, some foolproof plan I can use to defeat the Autobots! Hey Megatron, what the- Seriously, security, do you even exist? What are you doing here? Well, I was in the neighborhood, I was just wondering if you wanted to, uh, hang out. See, how many times do I have to tell you, we, we, we don't do that. Oh, come on, it'll be fun. Hey, 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 I'll try your burrito. Wait, really? No, not really. <laughs> you always fall for that, come on now, seriously. I don't want those disgusting things. But seriously, tell your security to do their job, they're just sleeping over there. Just walk right by them. I hate you! And I hate my security!